Hey what's up guys welcome to NCX Tech and today in this video we are going to customize the KD Plasma Tech Strip to make it more beautiful, cleaner and elegant and we are going to do all this customization using the built in KD tools which requires no other downloads or any other kind of command lines. Ok so let's get started. So here you can see that I am using KD Neon 5.27 and which is using the latest KD Plasma version 5.27.6 and first we are going to start the customization from the panel so this is the default panel and I am just going to remove this ok now it is removed and now I am going to add the application menu which contains global menu by default I guess yeah there we have the global menu and it is working perfectly fine ok and now I'm going to add some widgets in it so let me add widgets so first let me add application menu oh, application menu oh, so there we have let me add this here ok and after this let me add some other widgets like a clock uh, so there we have different clocks so I think I'm going to use this the digital one and then uh, okay a shortcut to minimize all the windows okay there we have okay and then the activity switcher Oh, it's named activity pager uh, I need this as well and then the network network manager uh, so there we have and then the audio controller uh, yeah to add the audio volume and many more and then notifications there we have and in case if you are using a laptop uh, I think this is going to be very useful the battery battery and the brightness and since I'm using this inside a VM so this is not going to work here ok and after this uh, let me arrange all these icons so into edit mode so first I'm going to add a spacer uh, yeah a spacer between global menu and all these items mm, and let me drag this here and note that all these items are available inside system tree but uh, there are a lot more elements and since I want to keep it minimal so I'm just going to use those items which are most more useful to me after doing all these things uh, I just want to set this panel as a floating panel so from here more options so there we have floating panel ok now you can see the floating panel which looks very good yeah so this is our panel floating panel with the round corners and there you can see some on use spaces between the panel and the screen edges yeah And, and as I maximize the window you can see that the space is removed here the panel perfectly fits to the edge of the screen so there is no on use spaces ok that's very good ok so that's all about the panel customization uh, let me close this and for this uh, application menu we have some other alternatives as well uh, so first we have application dashboard which is a full screen launcher you can see the full screen menu you can choose this if you like it and another option is this uh, application launcher which is KDE's default menu you know but I like this one the minimal one okay 
so after this uh, let's do some work on this uh, window title bar customization because I don't like all these items on the title bar okay so for this let's go to settings and uh, there we have title search for the title bar okay there we have windows decorations uh, so title bar buttons so I'm just going to remove all this okay and I just want this close button and I want this to be at the left side okay, and let me apply this because this switch to my workflow design as we got everything there at the upper left corner uh, this menu and this close button both on the upper left corner so this is all about the title bar customization and for maximize and minimize I'm going to do all these things using the keyboard shortcuts so uh, let's customize the keyboard shortcuts okay so they will have shortcuts so for the keyboard shortcuts uh, there inside key win which is the window manager uh, so first let me add a shortcut for closing the window uh, okay there we have close window and by default we have alt plus f and i don't find this convenient so i'm going to add meta plus x okay so this is my new custom shortcut and to minimize the window so there we have minimize what is it so there we have so i'm going to add another custom shortcut meta plus z so this meta means the super key or the windows key or whatever you say and to show the desktop minimizing all the active windows i think oh this uh, meta plus d which shows the desktop and this is by default i don't need to customize this and then another shortcut for overview which shows all the active windows and the workspaces so so by default there we have overview and the shortcut for this is meta plus w again i don't need to customize for this and then for the power okay let me search for power uh, so they will have power power down so for power down we don't have any shortcuts so i'm going to add Control shift and X okay you may find this shortcuts weird but I think these are much more convenient to me so as you click on Control shift X you can see the power option whether you can log out shut down restart or sleep okay so this is all about the keyboard shortcuts and now let's go to the appearance uh so you can change uh the global theme or you can get the new global themes from here you just download this and apply them but for now i'm just going to change the colors so i want this to be the darker one okay so let me apply this so i think this looks very nice okay now let me change the wallpapers from here you can see some default wallpapers you can use them if you like and so here's so here's the one uh, let me change another one uh, okay what about this wow or this one wow so I think this looks very nice and one thing I like to mention about is that the K runner, uh, which is uh, a kind of application launcher for KD Plasma Desktop. So if you want any app to run, uh, you just type the name of the app. Let me run Firefox. Okay, just type Firefox. So there we have Firefox browser. Just click on it. It will open now. Yeah. Uh, in my other workspace let me open uh, you just click on the empty desktop 
and then type whatever you want to open let me open terminal so they will have console terminal you know it's so easy because of gate owner and in my previous kda customization video i've added a doc in the text i guess it was the latte but i don't think it's very necessary because uh, in order to view all the active windows you just go to overview pressing meta and w so from there you get the idea about the workspaces and all the open active windows so that you can close them or you can minimize them uh, we have already customized the software for this as well so you know meta z this will minimize meta x this will kill the window so guys this is all about the kd plaza customization so i hope you find this video useful and if so please don't forget to like this video and to subscribe my channel and turn on notification for more linux tutorial videos thanks for watching have a nice time